what I would add to it are our politics greater than technology. Every single senator voted unanimously in favor of the five pieces of legislation we've discussed today. It ought to tell everyone who follows Capitol Hill and Washington a pretty stark message. Yes. We get it. No, no. And we live it. No. As parents and grandparents, we know what no. our daughters and sons and others are going through. What he said was such a pack of lies. They don't know what their sons and daughters. He, he even like stumbled a bit because he knows he's telling a freaking lie. Um, most of these people, if they're grandparents, they need to retire and go be grandparents. Wouldn't you agree? Um, instead, they're here on our Capitol making legislation and thinking that they're super important. This is all about money. All of this is about money as it always is and always will be. It's about what can you pay us to keep quiet? Otherwise, we're going to go along with what APAC tells us to do. And we're going to continue pressing you guys because we know that they want you guys to basically limit free speech on these platforms. The reason why all the senators get along and agree on this is because they're all paid and bought for. There's no real takeaway on this hearing other than right now, this whole thing is a push to get uh, the whole social media space federalized, put under a federal agency that will protect and guide children, which means limit free speech and show only the images they want you to see and take down any images, psst, images of any Palestinian children being blown to smithereens, any images that are egregious and shows the horrors that are happening across our globe. This is what they're really fighting for here. All I'm trying to suggest to you, Mr. Zuckerberg, and my, my time is, is running short, Thank God. is that in order for you to succeed, you and your colleagues here, we have to acknowledge these basic truths. We have to be able to come before the American people, the American public, the people in my state of Georgia, and acknowledge the internet people. is dangerous. The internet is dangerous. Including your platforms. Including there are predators platforms. lurking. There are drugs being sold. There are harms to mental health that are taking a huge toll oh boy, on kids' quality help. of life. And yet you have this incentive, not just you, Mr. Zuckerberg, all of you have an incentive to boost, maximize use, utilization, and engagement. And that is where public policy has to step in <laughs> to make sure that these platforms are safe for kids so kids are not dying, so kids... The way this man got up there and just lied and said that this is about the kids' safety. Yes, the kids' safety. Where Shouldn't it be up to parents what their kids are watching? Shouldn't it be up to parents if their kids have cell phones? Shouldn't it be up to parents to regulate if their kids are on certain apps? Why are these senators and these Congress people so adamant and pressed on the government getting involved in regulating, right? Because this boils down to regulations of our social media. It's because social media provides a place for free speech. And if they can't control that speech, they must regulate it. They must take it down. Make no mistakes, this Kids Online Safety Act, COSA, is all about regulation, about government getting involved in what you are consuming on a daily basis. Watching this hearing was watching a circus, watching a bunch of senators and people get up there and posture and sit there and scold and um, make these big CEO tech giant companies look like they're children that need to be scolded and told off when it's no such thing. It's either you pay us a lot of money for us to shut up and sit down, right? You guys are making enough money as you saw uh, Durbin saying there, or Dick Durbin, or you just pay us, or we're going to take you down. We're going to have to force this act on you, and you must comply with us, because if you don't, we are going to make it extremely miserable, as we've seen just in the last week of uh, Universal Music Group saying that TikTok can no longer use sounds. Like, the reason this is happening is to push forth their agenda and to make sure 2024 goes the way they want it to go. And me, just asking a simple question to my device, right? My search device. How many children go missing each year? And according to this, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, it said 5 million. 5 million kids are missing each year. We have people pouring over a border. We have wars that we've started in the Middle East. We have so much um, inflation that people are struggling to pay for food and their living costs. But you guys are concerned about the online safety of children. If you were so concerned, you would ensure that children are given free meals at school so they're not going hungry. You would ensure that they have free public education. You would ensure that they have access to mental health without needing insurance that is expensive and they can't afford, you would ensure that children in our child protective system 
is cared for and not put into the hands of predators. Our government, our U.S. politicians are playing you, Americans. They're playing you guys for fools. Please understand all you old heads out there that are watching this. I say old heads because I'm one of them. I'm Gen Xer. If I did not have apps like TikTok, where it has real speech, people passionately saying things, I think I would have fall right, fell right into this category of idiots listening to these morons on our Capitol Hill telling us that they care about our kids. They do not give a shit about your children. Share this video because it probably will be taken down. Have a great day and think for yourself.